بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم سمر ویکیشن ٹاس 2020 کلاس 6 امیزنگ سائنس یونٹ نمبر ون لنگننگ ٹو بی ای سائنٹسٹ فرسٹ آف آل ورڈ ای سائنس دی سٹڈی آف تھنگز این ایونٹس دے ٹیک پلیس ایراؤن اس اس کالڈ سائنس Another definition, the knowledge that is gained through continuous observations and experimentation, this is, this is also called science. What are observation? Anything that can we feel to our five senses that are called observation, like uh, ear that is for hearing, nose that is for smell, eyes that is for sight, tongue that is for taste, and skin that is for touch so uh, by these uh, five senses uh, we gain observations and these observations then these are tested by experimentation and then it become knowledge and that knowledge is then called science now who is scientist the person who studies the science is called scientist A scientist not only look at the things, but ask questions about them and, rise, and tries to find answer by performing experiment and collecting more information. Then he writes down the result and draw conclusion from them. Now, what are the steps that are involved solving a scientific problem? There are six steps. Identify the question, collect the information, perform an experiment, record the result, analyze the result, and finally the conclusion. Let's explain these steps through an example. Let's consider that there is a question They to find out whatever all the insects have six legs or not. So we have identified the question. So this is the first step. The second step is collection of information. So uh, a scientist will collect different kinds of insects. And you can see here in this diagram that there are uh, different kinds of insects. Now the next step is for forming an experiment. Now this little scientist you can see here in this diagram, he is performing an experiment. Uh, he, he is using a magnifying glass in order to count the number of legs of each and every insect. The next step is to record the result. So in the previous step during performing an experiment, Uh, he, uh, the scientist records some data and make a list of all insects and the number of each uh, one has uh, one has these legs. Uh, you can see here in this diagram that there are different insects and in front of each insect a box is given. So in these boxes uh, a scientist uh, there he will note the data that either each of these insects have six legs or not. The next step is to analyze the result. So the analysis of result show that each and every insect have six legs. The final step in the scientific method of study is conclusion. So here is our conclusion is that yes, that all the insect have six legs. Our next topic is about laboratory. So what is laboratory? Laboratory is actually a place where the scientific experiments are carried out. It contains of scientific equipment called apparatus, which is kept in cupboards or on shelves. Chemicals are kept in a laboratory in bottles called region bottles. Specimens of animals and plants are displayed on shelves and in cupboards and scientific charts are displayed on the walls. 
Uh, here are some of the instrument uh, that is used in the laboratory. This is a microscope. It helps us to see small objects that cannot be seen with naked eye. So this is a microscope. Uh, these are the lenses that magnify an object. Uh, this is the stage where an object is placed and these are the eyepieces uh, through which uh, the image of the object is observed. Another instrument that is balance. Balance uh, this instrument is used for measuring of the mass of the body. The mass of the body is measured in uh, unit kilogram and gram. Uh, kg kilogram this is a bigger unit and gram that is a smaller unit 1 kg 1 kilogram that is equal to 1000 gram another uh, instrument that is called measuring cylinder this uh, instrument is used to measure the volume of the liquid the volume of the liquid that is measured in unit liter or milliliter liter that is a bigger unit and milliliter that is a smaller unit uh, 1000 milliliter is equal to one liter. In this diagram, you can see a graduated uh, measuring cylinder and its volume is uh, 100 ml. So you can see there is a liquid and this liquid had a volume of almost 60. Uh, another instrument that is used uh, in the laboratory that is called stopwatch. It is used to measure uh, the time in hours and uh, minutes and seconds so you can see here in this diagram this is a stop watch uh, next that is a meter ruler uh, this is used uh, for uh, to measure the length of an object uh, the unit of the length that is meter and its smaller unit is centimeter one meter one meter is equal 200 centimeter in this diagram you can see there is a meter ru uh, rule uh, and this is called meter rod this meter rod almost it is uh, one meter uh, that is equal to 100 centimeter the next uh, next instrument that is thermometer uh, it is used to measure the temperature and tell us the hotness and coolness of an object uh, temperature is measured either in centigrade or Fahrenheit unit. So there are two kinds of thermometer in laboratory. Uh, one is centigrade thermometer and another is Fahrenheit thermometer. Uh, there are some other instrument uh, you can see here in the diagram. Now the safety rule for laboratory. Uh, don't touch anything without your teacher permission. Follow your teacher instruction. Always put the things back in their places after use. Put stopper on the region bottle immediately after use. Report all damage to the person in charge the lab. Wash your hand thoroughly after performing the experiment. Don't throw solids in the drain or in the sink. Always work caref carefully. Don't eat, drink, shout, play or throw anything at anyone. Thoroughly clean all the apparatus after use. Now homework. Now you will study uh, all these uh, lesson uh, one by one. Now for first week, unit one, learning to be a scientist, read page uh, two to three. Then find out uh, some difficult words. First of all, mark it in your book, underline it with a pencil and then write down their English and Urdu meaning. Then make a 10 MCQ from unit 1. Make a list of instruments used by the scientists, only their name. Uh, second week, unit 1 reading page 4, make MCQ 10 MCQs, difficult words with English and Urdu meaning and draw some common lab instrument and write its function. And this is the end of unit 1. Thank you.